Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> Nas here, uh, on the good old Nostalgic channel. Uh, this is something I've been waiting for for a while, uh, I think a month or more ago. Uh, me and uh, Tokyo Toy Bastard were uh, talking about some things that he's been picking up in his videos. And uh, he sent me a package. Um, I bought this stuff, but I'm pretty sure he tossed in some extras, I think he hinted on that. So, we're gonna do a little unboxing, and uh, here I'll show you real quick what's going on here. <clears throat> I also got these from him, uh, I think last year, or even uh, longer ago. Uh, these are my little Keshi, that's what these are called, Keshi. They're from Japan, um, Tokyo Toy Bastard, uh, check out his YouTube channel by the way. But uh, yeah, he goes out hunting in Japan, makes amazing videos, and uh, I watched them, I'm a fan. So... Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, these kind of remind me of certain toys I had as a kid growing up in Ukraine and in Canada. So I never had Dragon Ball Z ones, but uh, these really freaking take me back. So I really like those. So anywho, let's um, pop this guy open. Let me get a thingy. A thingy with a blade. Success. Okay. Um keep it less boring for you I guess. Should I go through the bottom? Nah. Alright. But yeah man, I love stuff from Japan, period. But anyway, um, Tokyo Toy Bastard, man, he, um, he's on Instagram, he's on Facebook I think also, but um, he collects a lot of awesome stuff like Godzilla, uh, themes, um, uh, Dragon Ball Z, really amazing toys that I've never even seen before, and uh, that's why his channel's interesting for me. What is down there? <sighs> Alright, there we go. Jeez. Alright. Anyway, I've always been uh, interested in Japan and its culture and my entire life, so, alright, we got some air from Japan. Breathe that. These are the cutest little tiny baggies. Alright, let's get rid of this box. Nothing else in there. Oops. Oh, what I do to the knife? Oh, here we go. Alright, where's the seam? So, anywho, um, but yeah, one day I was watching his channel and he was showing some Keshi that he found um, while he was hunting. Um, or maybe it was on Instagram, actually. He had, like, different colors set up, and I was like, that's so cool! Oh my god. <laughs> Example. Oh, shnikes! Oh yeah, I even forgot what else was there. There's other stuff here than Keshi, guys. Alright, I'm gonna keep this like this so that we don't see everything. Um, I'm gonna put the Keshi aside. Look at that. Oh my god. But before that... Yes, I've been waiting for this. Oh my god. That's it for the bag. Alright. Cool. So, this is a Japanese VHS of Back to the Future 2, obviously. Oh man, I've been wanting this for so long, like something from Japan like this. I also want to get a bunch of posters eventually. But what he was telling me is, um, in certain VHS players, um, it'll play it either in English or in Japanese, so that's kind of cool. Can I focus? Oh man, come on. What's going on? What's ah perfect? There we go. Nineteen eighty-nine, official. Really cool, man. I'm digging this freaking cover. Yay! I'm so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna put that up there with my, um, in the end, I'll take the camera off and put that up on the thing. Alright, let's tear into this Keshi bag. So, from him, I bought the VHS tape and a couple of Keshis for a couple of bucks, and I think he threw a bunch of stuff in here. I don't remember what's what, but I know that the Piccolos are the ones I really wanted. So, like, these guys right here. Yeah. You know what, let me maybe lower the camera. What's that say? 
Anyway, you probably saw it. Uh, ta -da -ta -da. Going down. Cool. There's a one. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, I hope it's focusing. Anyway. Z purple one. You guys in the comments, give me their names. That's one. That's two. <laughs> so not, there's another piccolo. That's number three. No, stand up, bud. All right, he's not standing up. Ah, uh, even smaller little piccolo. Please focus on. There we go. Nice. These are so cool, man. A much bigger blue one. Nice. Dude, thank you. And if you guys are into these and you want to, like, buy some, uh, look him up. Again, Tokyo Toy Bastard um, on YouTube and on Instagram. He often goes hunting and he he will sell you some of the stuff he gets that's extras. Sometimes he'll specifically go hunt for you if you want to buy a bunch of stuff. Nice, nice little Goku there. Green. Man, the colors are blowing my mind, brah. It's like a darker blue. Another piccolo. Awesome. I know I keep saying awesome. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> oh, another purple. I have a double of those. Oh, oh, I remember his name. What is this? Cell or, um, oh, shit. I don't remember. Anyway, let's call this number whatever, seven. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know and will let me know. I just think these are cool. And, uh, Tokyo Toy Bastard, if you can, in the comments, if you watch this, um, like, tell me, like, what's what's the era of these? Are these 80s, 90s, or... I'm trying to see. It just says things. You know, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure these are vintage. Here, let me put everyone together. Get my entire Keshi collection. So, yeah, guys, this is another thing that I'm collecting. They're small. <laughs> They don't take up room. If I want to, I can put them, I don't know, somewhere. Ugh, jeez. It's all gonna fall like a domino. Anyway, there's my Keshi collection. <laughs> I am excited. Not sure how I'm gonna display them, but... Tokyo Toy Bastard, dude, thank you so much. I am definitely going to look you up soon to get more of these. I definitely want to get some Godzilla ones, different monsters. Um, we'll talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, I love these. All the colors are so freaking cool. Awesome stuff. So yeah, oh yeah, as promised, let me put that awesome VHS. Uh, on the tripod on my collection section as I showed you in my as often because I love these <laughs> I love my back to the future stuff there's my framed DeLoreans just hung those up this is what my DeLorean section starting to look like how cool is this <laughs> all right Ugh. not sure not sure I know I want it to go here so I might have to build something. Let's see how the Texaco station holds it. It's so crazy. It just might work. Yeah. I hope it doesn't tumble over. Anyway, there we go. That looks great. Thank you, Tokyo Toy Bastard. I don't know if you want me to say your name. <laughs> but anyway looks so amazing now I need something Japanese um, that's Green Ranger related or Dragon Zord related uh, so I can add to my collection of awesomeness so yeah cool
Yay. All right. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, listing some of my art up for the website and stuff. But anywho, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this little unboxing from Japan. From Tokyo Toy Bastard, dude, I can't thank you enough for all the little extras you gave me. Well, a whole bunch of extras you gave me. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, I'm excited about the Keshi. I'm, I'm excited about that VHS. I love it so much. Um, yeah, dude, I'll talk to you soon about getting more <laughs> from, from good old Japan. But anyway, everybody else, check out Tokyo Toy Bastard. Um, he makes amazing videos. You like Japan, you like toys, you like all that awesome stuff. Check it out. And uh, on that note, I'm done, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Kashi, Kashi, Kashi. That's what they're called. Kashi. Later, everybody. Nostalgic Art, Nostalgic TV on Instagram. Check those two out. And uh, that's it. Flea Market video coming out tomorrow. Peace, everybody.